All right, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't tried Peacekeepers ever, really. I have a Peacekeeper build, Terra Peacekeeper Sniper, Arc Titan, and I'm going to go into Freelance and try to be an Arc Titan Peacekeeper guy because everybody seems to be all about the Peacekeepers now. So I'm going to drink some beer, and I'm going to try to SMG the crap out of people while I'm on a Titan, and we'll see how it goes. Peacekeeper melt. Lightning grenade hit. I don't know why he ran into it, but I'm happy he did. Peacekeeper melt. Ah, oh, he's half. We've killed two and a half of them. And we lose the round. <laughs> yeah, freelance. Welcome to the freelance experience. Yeah, I know, it happens. But people like to forget about the rounds where they their teammates help them. They always remember those rounds. Those rounds stand out. I will admit, those rounds do stand out. Ooh, yeah. That's the guy who got a bunch of kills, too. Only one enemy is left. Do not let him revive. Oh, he ain't reviving. Oh, he ain't doing it. I gotta remember that I got, like, Titan Walls. I've got Shoulder Charge. These are two things that are in my kit that I am not used to having in my kit at all. Also, it's Zone Trials. Like, I probably should try going to Bubble Titan. That was weird movement. He's not dead? I thought we were going to trade there. Only one ally is oh, boy. Only one oh, nice. He got that. He should be able to get this res. Oh, he's running away from it. Oh, free revive behind the pillar in safety, and he decided to run away. This might be one of those games that I can't let myself die or we're just going to lose. Remember knockout too? God damn it. Yeah. That's the hardest thing about me when I swap to characters when I'm not used to it. Remembering I have shoulder charge, which I screwed up there. Remembering I have titan walls. Remembering that if I'm in a bad spot, I can punch and I'll kill them because I'm a titan. Yeah, so we're fucked. I have to bait my teammates and play slow. Where'd my teammate die at? Guardian, it is you alone. Oof. Hmm. Getting to the zone seems impossible. Really? Okay, well, they cap. Gotta use my lighting grenades more. Sir, you have a free revive. I hope you go for it. God, I'm just dead every time I do anything against this team. Terrible feels weak compared to the Akela's SMG. I don't know if that's true, though. Okay, well, at least he's dead, but, like, damn it. I did not need a teammate to die there, too. Nice, good work. Like, I got my Ravenous Beast perk, but it, what keeps happening is I get it as the round ends. Dude, I wonder if I should use, like, Huckleberry for close-range SMGs and, like, Shayera's for long-range and just go absolutely crazy mode. That sounds kind of fun. <laughs> Double SMG on Titan can be cracked. Huckleberry's really good close. Shayera's really good mid. They reload each other. Could be fun. Oh! Oh, no. Now I have to believe in these guys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, please, no, oh no. <laughs> Why did I play aggressive? What is wrong with me? I went for a double kill, I'm so stupid. I have to go for triples every round, dude. All right, we went back to Arc Titan. Void's great. I should probably say Void Titan, but Arc Titan's good because I'm just going to run at people 
Throw lighting grenades and melee a lot. I'm gonna try to remember to actually melee this time. We have made it so we crafted a submission with Harmony. I had a random out of bounds in my vault with Harmony. Unfortunately, we don't want killing wins because we're gonna swap to this after we get to kill the other ones. This is kind of a wasted perk, but otherwise it's got good rolls. The idea here, two up close SMGs. This is gonna be really awkward. I am an only up close gamer, but they both have Harmony. What that means is if I get a kill with one of them, I can swap to the other one and have bonus damage. Because what Harmony does, final blows with other weapons improve this weapon's damage and performance. So, reutilizing Peacekeepers to quickly swap, we can get a kill with one or the other and then swap to the other one, which will be fully reloaded and now dealing more damage. This is not going to be about me just jumping in at three people and trying to kill all three. This is going to be about trying to utilize timing. When my teammates are fighting, it's time to go. If I'm the first one, I'm going to die every time. But if I can recognize that like, hey, my teammates are in a fight, I should go and try this out now. Well, that was really unexpected. I didn't expect one of them to full send. Trying to play smart. Awkward. I tried to melee thing and knock out my proc from that far. Yeah, these are too close range, I think. Like, the fact that I couldn't even control that, which wasn't far range at all, is a really bad sign. Okay, should be able to get this res. Now we swapped this, which has harmony. We might be able to kind of figure this out and get into a system where we get better with this. I don't know for sure. I've got no walls on, by the way. I got thrusters. Use that to get out of danger. Use that to jump on people who are weak with knockouts, stuff like that. Like literally back of the map. How do I, I can't. There's nothing I can do about that. No, we let him res. How do we do that? How are they alive? Give me a fucking break. I can't see. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's fun being able to swap non-stop over and over and over again though and not have to reload. That's fun. Holy shit, what a round. Yeah, knockout coming in clutch for sure. Knockout pulling off some huge plays. Dude, a snipe pick from Uncle Tim. That doesn't hit. It did make him panic though. In air accuracy, peacekeepers. How do you win? I don't know, just spraying everybody nonstop and putting pressure on. Stole the shit out of that kill. No need to ever reload. Only one enemy is left. We're pulling a comeback on him. Let's go. My nade kind of got stuck in a weird angle, but it worked. They have a well of radiance. This is so dumb. Damn it! Hide until you have nothing left. Trying to make sure they don't get that res. Oh, so close. Wee! <laughs> I just wanted to make sure they didn't run over here to get the res, but they didn't. Knockout! Missile! Yay! This build is so stupid. What a fun game, though. I don't even get the kill for that. Are you kidding me? Only one Harmony. Is left. Oh, he's in the cubby.
That guy's not a point three. Only one enemy is left. Harmony! Harmony! -na 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 -na. Let's go. I could just feel him getting all over me. Had to change positions. Oh, that guy was so weak. No! Bro! Oh, that's infuriating. That guy got put down to absolutely zero health two different times. Ooh, teammate going in with the Arky punches. Oh, trip mine. I burned you a child of the gods. Awesome. And we tie the round. I got two kills? This child of the gods got two kills. See, times like that, give me a pulse. I'm gonna go help out the dude who got a pick. Only one enemy is left. Both my dudes are dead. Oh, he slides right past the fucking thing. Oh, pain. Oh my god, we're winning. Yes, you are, man. I am completely handicapping myself, but I will try to pull it together and beat your ass. Just because you said that. Well, I mean, realistically, I shouldn't push. One minute left, my Only one enemy Peacekeeper's kind of nasty. What are you using your Akelos? Uh, I don't really use my Akelos too often, but I've got a few different good perks on there. Perpetual. Got the kill. Love one. that. Got our Harmony on now. Perpetual Rangefinder is what I use, I'm pretty sure. This is going to be the card where I just change my build every freaking game. That's going to be what happens. I'm just going to change it every freaking game. Well, that worked. Trying to kill the warlock as I flew by him, but it didn't work, so I just turned around. <laughs> Definitely peace of mind helped a little bit. Okay, we're gonna <laughs> just change our build for the 1,000th time. That makes me want to kill something. Ooh, he pushed forward. Oh, let's go! Did somebody just get cross mathed by a Wither Horde? Oh, you kinky bastard. Only one enemy is left. Brrr, Peacekeeper Shayera's. Yes, 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 yes. Peacekeeper Shayera, Wither Horde, or Peacekeeper Sniper Shayera's. Like either Wither Horde Shayera's or Sniper Shayera's. This is beautiful. Using behind me already. Only Take the trade, I guess. Didn't expect that guy to push through Cubby and fusion me instantly off the ra like round start. That's crazy. A little Joltarino. Oh, that poor guy. You're fucked. Carrots are better. Oh, shit. Good snipe. A little bit long range for my shares well, to even have left. a chance to stick to him. I believe, dude, you're going to 1v1 this guy for sure. Oh, my God. He's got Ravenous Beast. It's actually going to be a throw if he doesn't now. Nice. If I lose this game, like, I, don't, I might just have to be done forever. I'm playing against a rotten carrot. I have to stand my ground and prove that Healthy carrots are better than rotten carrots. I feel very, very nervous. I did kill rotten carrot. Homie threw a grenade on me and killed me, but we killed the rotten carrot.
Good snipe, Nutella. Oh. Oh. Into the horde. You understand, if I have to try my absolute hardest, I'm going to fucking go for it. Yo, Rotten Carrot is my homie. How dare you befriend the Rotten Carrot? You have betrayed the Carrot Squad Alliance. The jungle Squad can never trust you again. Only one enemy is left. I'm going to Discord call them right now. He said go easy. We'll tell him to fucking compost himself and replant himself, dude. Other than, until then, he's not my friend. Mmm, inner accuracy with peacekeepers. Yes, yes. Is Nutella a known good player or just a delicious spread? A delicious spread who's doing well this match. <gasps> Pete! Wasn't letting him escape that. This build's fun. What is Chinese pizza? Because I'm down. Dude, I'm going to open a place where it's sort of like Panda Express, but better quality. And we're going to base it in a pizza. And they're going to be like, what do you want? You're going to put chow mein on top of your pizza. And then like you have some other options too. But basically imagine like chow mein pizza, Chinese food pizza. It's going to be a restaurant. It's going to slay. Peacekeepers allows you to swap so fast. So you can just like dump the Wither Ward out with no negative because you're able to shoot so quickly after doing that. Like normally there's, there's a negative to doing that, right? You shoot out the Wither Ward and like you start getting shot, but you can just dump it out and swap instantly. Oh, the melt. Holy crap. Kill clip. You can also just shoot the wither and then swap and then it freaks them out too. They're like, oh God. They'll start like flying or trying to evacuate because they got a wither flying at them. Oh, I'm getting sucked. Whoa, I had kill clip. Yeah, I guess I was still weak. I died so fast there. I thought I was in a good spot. I was like, I'm going to come back with kill clip and this dude's going to get devastated. But Vex just freaking destroyed me. Surprise, Bungie never reaches out to you on how to improve PvP. Nah, they don't. You think Bungie cares about PvP or me? Hello, sir. Peekaboo. Yeah, plot twist. They don't care about either thing just mentioned. They should care about both. Aw, thank you. This round, instead of just running at them, I'm going to make them come to me. We got zone control. Yoda's just in the spawn, fucking not playing. So, like, I kind of don't want to just rush forward. Hey! Okay, good. He's playing now. He's dead as hell. This guy's alone. So, this is the guy to push. Oh, I'm just kidding. He's not alone. If he won, it's there. I'm going to get my health back. We're in a good spot. If I don't swap to my Wither Horde when it's not ready to shoot also against that second guy, I think we're in a good spot. This guy isolating himself should be a huge throw. Should allow us to get this free revive in 3v2. Nice, and even gets a pick. Oh, Peacekeeper's so good. Hmm. Got the one. You excited for Lightfall? I'm a Destiny 2 player. Of course I'm excited for Lightfall. It's okay if they get the res. If you just join me on this zone, we literally win. But I guess that's fine. We have a chance of being screwed now. Now we're good. Lightball looks amazing. Yeah, they do a pretty good job of making it look good. I mean, they do a good job of making every DLC look good, although they've barely mentioned Crucible at all!
for this one, which kind of matters for me just, just a little bit. Let's pay attention to what we're playing, which I almost never do. Hawkmoon shotgun, bow, sidearm, and he's got the uh, arc slide, witherward. Okay, so we got a bow, we got a witherward, we got a shotgun. We got one dude with the warlock arc slide on my team, on the other team, I should say, their team. We got to deal with the arc warlock melee. That's what I'm trying to say. Good start. Teammate got a pick also. That's always a good sign. This guy's in a really bad spot. God. Freaking kill clip melt. Your ally is back in the fight. One minute left, my friend. He's gonna try to guarantee this win. Like, stupid me runs out and is like, I want the kill! But like, no, I want to win this round. That poor guy just got on him so fast. No reason to push that. Got zone control, got two reses over here. Let's go. Trying to make sure I win this round, or this game. A lot of my freelance experience is like, I'm gonna run around and go for kills, yeah, blah, 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 blah. But I'm on Flawless Game No Mercy, and I'm kind of sick of the shit that's happened to us in freelance when I try recently to get Flawless, so no more dumb pushes when we're easily able to win a round. I want to guarantee it. Good push. He's won. Let's see if my teammates are able to get him. My teammates seem pretty good this game. Yeah, good wombo combo. Like, he's not gonna get away from that. The solar wombo combo. That guy has no shot. Yeah, my teammates are doing great. I could see this build being pretty good for tomorrow. I'd probably want to use bubble if I was playing actual, like, carries, doing threes, instead of doing freelance. Only one enemy is left. The little forward thrust. Let's fucking go to the White House. Peacekeeper Titan. Do I want to use this more today or this weekend? Fancy and I doing carries tomorrow. He's on Hunter. I'll be on Hunter. Do I want to go Titan? Put down bubbles? I might. I might, I might, I might. 